Hey everybody, welcome back to the Kit Cave. I hope everybody's been uh, keeping well and everybody's doing fine. Um, back with another very quick update on the uh, the build series for the uh, AMT Ertl uh, 1 1400 scale USS Enterprise D. Um, I'm looking at the model and completely forgot <laughs> what it was called or what scale it was. I do apologize. Um, it's been a while, everybody. Um, uh, it's been well over a month since I last uh, posted um, anything to do with this particular kit. Um, more so for for two reasons. Um, uh, two reasons. First of all, is a I just needed to take a break from it from a little bit. Um, I was kind of beginning to lose the will to live, uh, will to live a, a little bit. I'll not explain why that was in a in a second. Um, but more so, um, it's just been a very very busy month. Um, work and and home life. It's, it's just been absolutely uh, manic. Uh, I've got to be honest, and so you know, sadly, it's meant that I haven't been able to put uh, any time into this kit over the uh, over the last month or so, uh, work-wise. But um, I have managed to squeeze a few little uh, an hour in here and there over the last few days. Um, so I am still working on it. It is still going. Uh, Progress-wise, I am sorry to say, is there's nothing substantial being done at this point. Um, because I'm still just drilling windows um, and it's taking absolutely forever and I believe that was probably the, the premise of my last update it was the same thing just just drilling out these windows um, but it is what it is you know it's not a race it's going to take uh, however long it takes really you know I'm not getting this ready for, for a competition you know so I'm not restricted to any sort of time scale it, it is what it is um, I'm not sure if I, I probably did cover this, but then just to go through it again, this is the the bit that I finished last time. So on the the, the back the, the back part of the kit there. So it's all the windows have been uh, a cut out, and all the the windows that are not going to be opened up have been recessed in. New panel line and the panel lines rescribed in. Again that side, and it's all been sanded back. And you can see there with the light glinting off, all that raised paneling detail, all completely gone, completely smooth. Um, and that's looking good. Managed to get, I'll, I'll try and get this on camera. I've got the camera set up at a weird angle. There you go. You can see there, windows drilled in there, recessed windows from the neck piece, ready to go in both sides. That uh, was a little bit tricky to do uh, with the rotary tool. Come on, focus. There we are. You know, they're not super, super clean, but being as small as they are, trying to get them that, you know, super, super clean um, next to impossible. Um, there we go. Um, I have to, you know, apologies for the, the, the very messy workbench here. Um, as I said, you know, I just was working on it, had to stop um, because uh, because of things going on, lots of things going on. Um, so there we go. You can see in front of us then we've got the uh, the lower saucer section. The same thing, really, progress update. As, as I said, not much going on other than just I'm still uh, hacking away at these windows. Um, all the windows are going to be opened up to allow the light shining through. Have been done. I don't know if you can see that yet. It's kind of picking it up there if I twist it around, but there you go. Um, they've all been opened up. Um, I did that uh, last weekend. Now, interestingly enough, these larger windows on the saucer section here, these longer win uh, windows, actually actually didn't take that, that, that long to do. They were actually quicker to get these out, uh, to drill them out and clean them up with a knife than it was doing doing the, the little small windows on these two pieces, uh, strangely enough. Um, that took longer, and they're smaller windows, and I don't quite understand why that is. Maybe, maybe it is because they're actually longer and bigger, so therefore they're going quicker. Uh, but there we go, so I've got those opened up. A um, couple on the front here, I haven't opened just yet, and that's that's these windows just here, so that's I'm going to leave that for later. And I can't remember with the Green Strawberry um, Photo Etch kit, whether there's an actual a plate to go in there that can be can we replace that i'm not too sure i'm gonna have to dig it out and have a look if not not a big issue you know they'll get cut out uh, just like these ones at the back uh, when the time comes i'm kind of gonna leave that for the moment before i check uh, and i'll probably do those once i come to the final you know the installation stage uh, of, of of the process for this kit and the installation of course being all the lighting replacing all these phaser strips uh, all the you know all the aftermarket bits to go on it and all that kind of thing um but there we go. Um, what else have I done is, you know, all these windows are now open to allow the light to come through. The ones that are going to remain closed um, have been recessed just here on these this section around this rim part here. All these windows we're seeing here, they've all been recessed out. And I actually did that this morning. Um, 
And again, it didn't take that long. It took about an hour, an hour just going through, drill them out, clean them up with the knife, um, get them recessed in, try and get them as clean as possible, uh, but not an easy thing to do. And so all that literally leaves for this piece now, window wise, is all these windows that are not being opened up to do the same thing, just get them recessed, recessed in, cleaned up with a knife, and then that's that bit done. And then I can do the same thing, sand off all the raised details, rescribe the panel lines, and that bit's good to go, ready for the uh, ready for the next bits, the, the next stages to happen. Um, after this bit's been done, then it's on to the upper saucer section. Same thing, sort out all the windows first, get all the windows uh, sorted out, or 90%, I should say, 90% of the windows. And then it just leaves back to the clear cast bit that I did. Again, get those windows back into position, marked in. This light blocked first, windows in, recessed, drilled out, or recessed in, I should say, routed, whatever you want to call it. Allow the light to pass through, and then, once that is finally done, it's on to the installation stages. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that all of the windows for the entire kit are going to still be done at that point, because they're not. Um, as we all know, fans of Star Trek and, and the Enterprise D, we've got all the windows along the edge of the saucer here that need to go in as well. Now, I'm in two minds about what I'm going to do with those. Um, you can see, actually, on this, interestingly enough, I don't know if you can pick it up. Yeah, there it is. Um, on the kit itself, they kind of moulded them in. Now, OK, they're not accurate. They're not accurate to any version, <laughs> any version of the uh, of, of, of the uh, the studio model. But they, OK, fair play to the uh, the original sculptors. They, they had a go at putting them in uh, along there. Now, interestingly enough, they only did it on the, on, on the bottom saucer. They didn't actually do it on the top piece, which, which is a, I find a bit strange, but... Anyhow, um, is what it is. As I said I'm in, I'm in two minds. I don't know what I don't know what I'm going to be doing with that. Uh, whether it's going to be I make up some decals and just decal them on as the final the final bit once this build has been completed, or whether I'm going to be you know masking them off with bits of masking tape and, and you know spraying the windows on. Which mm, okay, we'll do the job, but it'll look a bit naff because it will look like what it is a sprayed on window. Um, I'm, I don't know. I think I'll experiment. Uh, I'll probably experiment um, on the edge somewhere around here. I mean, all of all of this is going to have to be all puttied over anyway. All these windows are going to have to get puttied in and all smelly back smooth because, as I said, they're, they're not quite correct um, in their positionings. And I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll try the recessing method again. Maybe I'll get the uh, the tool that I'm using this snapped off uh, zero point three uh, millimeter drill bit. And maybe I'll, I'll try actually see what I can do to recess them in, just like I'm doing with with these ones uh, that are not, uh, and see how that goes. And then I can you know work out the shape and get it in and being careful, just a little bit of a recess in, and at least the windows are there um, to then have the clear UV resin placed into them afterwards once all the painting and everything else has been done. Um, which, to be fair, with the amount of windows that's that's on the edge of the saucer is going to take absolutely forever. But it is the nature of the beast of this kit. That's why it's taking so long. That's why there's been no substantial progress to this, other than the fact, of course, as I said, I, you know, I've had a very, very busy, uh, busy five weeks or so. I just haven't really had, had much time to spend on the kit uh, in itself. <sighs> it's just the windows. Just the windows. Just. It's becoming a grueling test. I, 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 and as I said, I had to be fine. I had to take a break. When I finished... When I finished this this piece, uh, the top of the engineering section, I got that done, and I and I just stopped at that point for, for about a week. I just didn't touch. <laughs> I just didn't. I couldn't couldn't face touching this kit anymore. I couldn't face drilling out any more windows. I was, you know, for my own sanity, I had to stop um, just to take a, br a break away from it. But I'm back. I'm back. Back on it. I'm going to be cracking on as soon as I've uh, wrapped up uh, my waffling on this video. Um, I'm going to be back to it, carrying on with these windows here. Uh, it's Saturday evening. The wife is indoors watching Strictly Come Dancing, which I absolutely detest, but she loves it. So fair play to her. I'm out in the man cave. You know, she's doing what she loves. <laughs> I can spend time out here cracking on and, and getting this done. There we go. Um, and there we are, everybody. Sadly, not much to report um, on this on this build. It, it, it is what it is. I'll get there. I'll get there eventually by hook or crook. Um, one other thing I'd just like to mention uh, for everybody out there in YouTube land, 
Um, well, first of all, thank you to everybody for, uh, you know, anybody that's hit the subscribe button or the like button on previous videos. And for those people that have, that have left comments, you know, I always, always appreciate it uh, when people do that. So a big, big shout out and thank you to everybody there. Um, just to let you, everybody know, I am going to be doing another playlist series. Um, creating or starting another playlist series. And it's going to be based on a particular genre. And you can probably see what's kind of work out what's going on here in the background. It's 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 it, it, it's an aspect of modeling um, that I've always loved. I, I've always loved doing it. And it's actually um, how I got started into model building as, as, as a child. Um, I don't know if you can probably make it out here what's going on here in the background now and it's and it's it's this it's the warhammer it's games workshop you know it's this stuff i'm going to be doing a, a build series or not a build series a playlist series based on this um nine years old i was nine years old wandered into this 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 shop called games workshop uh back in the uh well, back in the 80s now i'm sure my age aren't i uh back in <laughs> back in the 80s and just fell in love with it. Fell in love with it. I was nine years old as a kid. Absolutely loved it. And I can always remember the first, the first, um, the first model I ever picked up was one of those little blister packs. I think it was like three pounds, three pound fifty or something like that. It had four little models in it, the metal miniatures, uh, and it was a and it was a pack of what was back then known as squats. Um, yeah, and that was where it all started. And then I uh, I got into the uh, the miniature painting and miniature building uh, aspect, and it kind of just blossomed from there into what we see now today doing stuff like this and making my head blow up and losing the will to live and doing electronics and learning how to you know how to do arduino and write program programming code for arduino which i've never done before to get all the flashy light and sound effects but it's all been good stuff all been good stuff been a good journey over the years um now you know sorry for the rambling on guys um I'm coming back to this. I'm going to do it, as I said, I'm going to do another playlist purely based on um, this aspect of the hobby, miniature painting, specifically with Warhammer models. Um, as I used to collect, I used to play, um, but then I stopped about, it must have been about 12, 13, possibly even 14 years ago, I stopped doing it. And I haven't done anything, any miniature painting, any anything like that, anything with the genre in, in, in almost 15 years. Um, and I've missed it. I gotta be honest, I have missed it. So I'm coming back to it. And as you can see, this is a box I picked up recently, but I'm not going to waffle on about that anymore because that's going to be for the next uh, the next video. And there we are. And there we go, everybody. Sadly, there's not really much more I can I can waffle on about. Um, well, I could sit here and waffle on for hours, but you'll all just lose the will to live. Um, I'll wrap up there. Just wanted to do a quick update, just to you know, say thanks to everybody again for the likes uh, and the uh, uh, and the hitting the subscribe button and the comments. Uh, more so, just to let people know, you know, I am still here. I am working on it. I know it's been over a month since I posted, but hey, you know, life is life. Life's got to come first. The hobby sadly has to come second in in, in, in most circumstances. But I am back, and I'm going to be cracking on with this, getting it done because I'm you know, just like everybody else, I want to get through this 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 headache of the window the window drilling out to get to the actual nuts and bolts the, the, the meat of the operation here um and some people might be thinking well why not just do that why not just focus on one bit at a time get the windows drilled out do the installation do the light blocking put all the electronics in once it's all done then do the next piece start the process again yes i could do that but my mind is just set on let's get the the grueling work out the way first the mundane boring stuff done um the hardest bit get those windows out get the majority you know 95 percent across the entire kit get all the windows done and then i don't have to worry about that afterwards that's, that's probably the worst bit to do on this kit you know, these these windows and just because of the sheer quantity of them and again because i'm spending time not just you know going at it hammer and tong i'm trying to do a neat as job as i possibly can with it that's why, why it's taking the, you know taking the time um, I probably mentioned it before in my last video, and I'm sorry to repeat again. I've got to be honest, I, once I've got this kit done, once I've got these windows out and it's all been done, I am never doing this opaque version of the kit ever again, uh, purely because of these bloody windows. Um, if I ever have to come back and do this kit in the, any, at any time in the future, I will try to get hold of a clear edition kit and do it, because there's no way I'm doing this again. Um, 
is, is a slog. These windows, they are an absolute slog. Anyway, stop moaning about it. it, is what it is. I'll wrap up there, guys. Again, apologies. I always say this. Apologies for my waffling on these videos. I should write out a script and a, a script and make you know make it you know a bit more uh, a bit more meaningful when I do these videos and uh, and stop waving my hands in front of the camera as well. There we go. Yeah. Hey, look, it's been over a month. I'm having a bit of fun here. Come on, give me a break. <laughs> but there we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop being stupid now and I'm gonna wrap up. Thanks everybody. I'll be back with a hopefully another update very soon with this build as soon as I possibly can be, probably just to show everybody, yay, all the windows are done on this bit, great, on to the top bit, repeat the process, hooray, um, but there we go, um, there we go, I'll get YouTube on, sit here for the next few hours, start grinning at these and watch some videos on YouTube at the same time, uh, I'll be back soon everybody, I'll probably do another video uh, in just a moment actually, I'm going to do a filming video on this one over here, uh, get that one uploaded, why not, while well, I've got the time here tonight, anyway, Thanks, everybody. You all take care, and I'll, uh, I'll be back soon uh, with more videos, more updates, and more moaning about the, the windows. Everybody have a great Saturday evening. Take care now. Bye-bye.